All right, guys, now creating and managing presets in Lightroom is extremely simple. So we're going to show you guys in this video how to create and manage them. And we're not going to spend too much time on the develop module settings because we're going to be going through develop module in depth throughout all these tutorials. And we're going to be doing a lot of uh, preset creation as well. So this is going to be rather quick, and we're just going to kind of touch on it now so that when we cover it later, it's more of a review rather than kind of seeing it for the first time. So what you first want to do when you want to create a preset is just apply the settings to whatever image. Um, and it doesn't have to be the image you're going to use every single time for the preset. It's just what you want this kind of preset to look like. So let's say we want to develop a black and white preset. So I'm going to start right off by hitting V, which is the hotkey to turn this image to a black and white. And then I'm just going to make some adjustments over here. And we'll, we'll say that this is like a kind of like a bright, poppy uh, black and white. So I want to brighten it, add some contrast, add some blacks to kind of deepen the blacks. And then I want to add some clarity just to kind of really bring out the detail in the shot. Um, and let's say that that's for the sake of this tutorial, that's all I want to do for this one. Okay, so now that I have it dialed in on the right side, I'm going to create my preset by going to the left side. I can either hit the develop menu and click new preset or use the shortcut control shift plus N or you can just go to the presets panel and just hit plus and then it'll automatically bring up the new developed preset uh, dialog box. So all we're going to do is type in the name. So the preset name is going to be poppy black and white. And then we're going to stick it in the folder of user presets. We can also create a new folder if we want. And we'll, we'll do that just for the sake of this article. So we're going to say SR Lounge Tutorial Presets. We'll hit Create. It automatically creates a new folder for my presets on this left side. And now it's just going to ask me which settings do I want this preset to actually remember. So whatever is checked off from here, it's going to store that information from our develop uh, settings over here, regardless of if those settings are at zero. So if I choose like lens correction, well, those settings are set to zero right now, and that's what it's going to remember for the preset. So if, let's say, I don't want it to affect lens correction, if I don't want it to affect any of these other areas, then I would just select the items that I've adjusted. And what did I adjust? Well, I did basic tone adjustments. So I did no exposure. So I'm going to uncheck exposure. I didn't do any recovery. I didn't do any fill light. I did blacks. Um, I adjusted brightness and contrast. I didn't use my tone curve. I did adjust my clarity. And then I I did adjust the treatment of black and white. So I, I didn't use a black and white mix, but I did turn it to a black and white. So I wanted to keep that. And I'm going to turn the rest of these off. And the quick and easy way to do that is to check none. If, if the majority of items you don't want it to remember for this preset, hit check none. If the majority of items you do want to remember, hit check all. Uh, and then just kind of adjust from there. So that is all I want it to remember. And what I'm going to do now is hit create. And now it keeps my settings, uh, it, it now stores my settings as poppy black white. Now, here's what we're just showing you. So if I hit reset, and let's say I adjust the exposure on this image, and then I apply my black and white, well, my black and white, when I save that preset, I didn't make any changes. Uh, I didn't have it store any information for exposure. So you see that the exposure adjustment that we just made to increase it to 0.66 remains on the image. But check this out. Uh, I'm going to adjust my exposure again by 0.66 up, and I'm going to adjust blacks to 0. Now, blacks is one of the settings that we did have it store. So when I click poppy black and white, it's not going to adjust exposure because it's not one of the settings that we stored, but it does set blacks. So the point of this is that if there's certain general settings like maybe brightness and certain things that don't you don't want to your preset to remember, um, you want to unselect that because maybe every image you, you want your presets to be basically very broad and very usable across multiple images, and not every image has the same levels of brightness or the same uh, white balance and stuff like that. So you might not necessarily want to include those in the preset because if you do, then you know the you're going to take the brightness and, and what looks right for one image and create a preset that may not look right for other images. So that's just a head up, heads up on that. All right, guys, so let's talk about how to manage presets. So briefly, I want to go through how to manage presets. And it's going to work very similarly to the other areas in Lightroom uh, in the library module when we covered like creating collections and stuff like that. Basically, we created a folder for SR Lounge Tutorial Presets by uh, adding that folder when we were actually creating the preset when we hit that plus button. So we create it right here uh, in that drop down. Now, there's another way you can do that by just right clicking here and creating a new folder. So if I want to create a new folder at any time, I could do that just by right clicking saying, temporary, this is just going to be a temporary folder, we're going to delete this. I'm going to hit create. 
Now if I want to manage my settings and move them around, all I got to do is click the setting, click the preset, and move it to the folder where I want it to be. And it automatically is going to move it so I can organize it into however many folders and however I like, uh, you know, just to kind of fit my workflow. So let's say now I want to rename one of these uh, presets. Maybe I don't like the name for Poppy Black and White. Well, like we did before with collections, we're just going to right click, you're going to hit rename, and we're going to say um, Poppy B and W, so that it's a shorter name. We're going to hit OK. And we have the name changed. Let's go through the additional menu options when we right click right here. We have update with current settings. Now what this means is basically whatever settings are on the right side are going to be updated if I click that update with current settings. So if I were to add uh, increase the blacks and let's say we left the exposure at 0.66 and I right click right here and say update, it's going to bring up our dialog box again. It's going to ask me what do I want it to remember again. Now this time I want to include exposure and I also wanted to include black clipping again so it, it keeps the black adjustment to plus 10. I'm going to hit update. Now let's reset our image and for the sake of this tutorial I'm going to reduce my exposure down by 0.66 and then I'm going to hit poppy black and white. What we should see is it remembered the 0.66 adjustment up on the exposure and so yeah and what we have is it remembered that because we updated with our current settings. Our black is now set to 10 because it was updated as well. So if you see something on a preset that you want to change, you can update it by just using the update with current settings. Now if I click show in Explorer, it's going to actually bring up the presets folder. Now this is really useful because and if I'm going to click back one folder, so we go to the develop presets, this is really useful because this is actually where you guys are going to be installing new presets. So like if you guys say purchase uh, a preset package from a company, they're going to say install this into your Lightroom presets folder and that's the easiest way to get there is to go to your presets panel, right click, hit show and explore, that brings up the current folder that we have selected that we right clicked on. So I just click back one folder and I would put the presets right here. And next time you uh, load up Lightroom it should refresh it and you'll automatically see those presets in your, your presets panel over here and they'll be available to use. Alright, so the next item we see on the right click menu is the delete option. So if we don't want any one of these, whether it's a, a preset or whether it's a folder, we can just click delete to remove that item. So I'm going to say delete to remove this folder right here. And our folder's gone. And we can also use the same right click menu for our folders, which is going to allow us to basically rename them. The user presets is a default folder, which won't let me rename, but this SRM tutorial I should be able to rename. There you go. Uh, there's our rename. Now the last two options in that right click menu to export is going to allow you to export these uh, these settings as a preset. So basically if you want to send these presets to somebody, um, if you want to share them between computers, maybe you guys have created your own custom set of presets, then you would click right click and hit that export button, you'd choose a location, save it to your desktop or wherever you want, and then you would say export. And you can also import those presets back into Lightroom using the import point to location that you just saved uh, where, where the saved preset is. Or you can also do the same way that we taught you before in the Explorer by dragging the preset into a folder inside of your developed presets folder in Lightroom. Alright guys, so you should have a good understanding of presets now. We're going to be doing so many presets and going through the develop module portion of this series that it's going to get hammered in your head as we go through anyway. So as long as you have a basic understanding now, that's great. And let's move on to the next tutorial.